we can access windowing as we did before, but, but however, with a different approach, adjusting our window and width and level to optimize every visualization of your CT data. This helps improve clarity and focusing for the conversion process. As you can see, we can window and width and window and level by just clicking the window and width, as you know, and using our scroll, we can access the window and width make incrementations or go down for a different kind of view. By hitting leveling, we can determine the type of leveling that we are needing for our CT images. In this way, we can control the type of density of the bone that we are needing from D1, D2, all the way to D4 kind of bone. Right after, this feature allows you to transform CT DICOM files into an intuitive STL format, enabling further processing and integration with 3D models. Right here, we are hitting our convert DICOM to STL. We are going to recreate our STL file from this CBCT image, just like we did before. And then, we're going to go down and hit the bone density from this peak color for STLization. And right after, we're going to hit apply. Once it's set, as you can see right here, we're going to set some points from our, our STL and our regenerated CBCT transformed to our STL from CBCT to STL. By just clicking this set three points, we're going to start with our main STL. There's a little bit of noise here, but we need to be sure that we are going to relocate. Now this new layout comes with a fitness showing you the data is well fitted into our CBCT, our main STL together with the CBCT.